Now, I want to interject a little tip here, and I want to show you one other option that affects the way that the magic wand behaves, and it's a really, truly bizarre connection. If you go to the eyedropper tool, you'll notice that there's a sample size option up in the options bar. The setting of the sample size option defines how not only the eyedropper works, which it does, of course, because it's associated with the eyedropper tool, it also affects the behavior of the magic wand tool. If it's set to point sample, then the magic wand tool samples or reads just the point upon which you click. However, if you set it to three by three average, it will look at three pixels wide by three pixels tall, which is a total of nine pixels, an area covered by nine pixels square, and it reads all of those pixels in determining the selection area. And if you set it to five by five average, it looks at 25 pixels in order to determine its selection. So notice how different it is if I have it set to point sample, go to the magic wand tool and click, which gets that area of pixels right there, versus if I go to the eyedropper, change it to five by five average, return to the magic wand tool and click in that same spot. It's a bigger selection area. An even better demonstration of this is the spots along the giraffe's neck, any place where there's a big difference in colors. Let me zoom in on this giraffe neck a little bit, and I'll switch to the eyedropper tool by pressing the I key, set the sample size to point sample. Now press the W key to switch back to the magic wand, and I'm gonna click right next to this spot. I'm still in the beige area, but I'm gonna click right next to this spot. And anytime you wanna see exactly what the magic wand tool is gonna to select, you wanna know exactly which pixel you're clicking on, press the caps lock key. This is a little tip, press the caps lock key in order to get the precise cursor. So notice when caps lock is up, we see the magic wand cursor. When caps lock is down, we see a little cross. Okay, so I've got that cross. I'm just gonna click in the beige area right next to the spot and notice that it only selects the beige area because it did a single point sample. Now I'm gonna press Command D to deselect that. Press the I key to get the eyedropper. Go up here and set it to five by five average. Press the W key to go back to the magic wand. I still have my caps lock key down so I have that little cross cursor. And click again in that same spot right next to the spot but not on the spot. And it selects not only the beige area, but part of the spot as well, these deep browns of the spot as well. And that's because it's sampled in a five by five area, a five by five area of pixels, 25 pixels it looked at in order to determine the colors involved in the magic wand selection.